Are you thinking about your ancestors as who made you? Or your ancestors as being from a gloopy pot of mud? From a glob of cytoplasm? Yes. <laughs> well. I'm thinking about, I've been having this idea or thought of connection with the earth that I get when I'm surfing. And I feel that part of what we are doing is surfing and camping and being in the elements is not as fully immersive as a traditional culture. It's almost like we're feral uh -huh. humans as opposed to indigenous humans. So there's a an element that is still missing and I have a room. It's called tribal. Tribal and I have a romantic idea in my brain of paleolithic hunter-gatherers before and before the last ice age not after the last ice age which is when civilization and at that time on the earth there were so few humans that the tribes were dispersed and we really did not have a whole lot of war because people were so far away from each other and yet where we did of course there were going to be but this was a time in human history that is responsible for hominid history that it was responsible for a large part of our evolution and we are adapted to that environment so i'm thinking about it in terms of in the modern era how do we take the best elements of that and incorporate them into our lives and i realized as a feral surfer part of that I receive and I get extra from the ocean and I get it in a way that no hunter-gatherer could have because of this thing I do standing on water zipping down the line but there's also a part that's missing when we're hanging around the campfire we're not singing songs so much anymore yeah some people will bust out the guitars and play a little bit but most of the time is people are like this on their little handheld electronics disconnected with so, people they're sitting next so, to. So the ancestors have never left us, but the story has. And so I'm thinking how to connect this story. And one of the ways is through the DNA. And I may not remember my grandmother. Well, I remember my grandmother, but my great grandmother, I don't remember her, but her nose is sitting right here. Her nose is sitting right here. So a part of me remembers that yes of course and that's what i'm saying about who made us we are who made us and it took hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people to make you to make me and we're all the same we come from that little glob of mud you say i say we don't i say aliens dropped us here from another planet because their planet was destroyed <laughs> and then dropped us here so we could destroy this one which is what we're doing and we're also planning to go off to another planet so see we have points of agreement i agree we're making a mess of this planet yes we are good um so uh, joseph campbell tells a story about the ancestors and the ancestor was a turtle and the turtle was turtles all the way down and I think that that is part of the ancestor story. It goes all the way back to a point in time that we just, it's like looking into the mirror of the mirror of the mirror so far back. Right. And whatever that is, we may not agree upon, but yet here we are and there is this responsibility from our past. And this guy in the Revolutionary War is talking about that. And that was 250 years ago. And it's the more. same shit then as it is now. And except... he also said when he was born, it was a, a time of uh, discontent in humans. We are having that time now. What's the difference between then and now? We have cars. And atom bombs. And telephones. And, and atom bombs. 
Yeah. And, and we can destroy the planet a lot more quickly yeah. now. Right. And we can kill each other much more efficiently now, rather than those muskets. Yes. Hey. It's a sad commentary to the human nature that they would even think that way. All I want to do is smile at my fellow man and say, hi, how are you doing? And not him to tell me, well, we're going to hell in a handbasket here. Well, we are going in a handbasket somewhere pretty darn quick. And if we don't learn what we know already, then Lord help us. And we don't have that much time left, Jake, to fix this problem. I get that sense. And so you and I coming from different backgrounds, we can agree Yeah. that there's some fixing that needs done. Right. We just don't know how to actually fix, except to talk about it. And record it and put it out there for the world to see. Yes. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Hit that Hit that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. And like And us. comment. And make a comment. Thanks, guys. And yeah. you know what? Uh, next time we'll have a much better microphone. And we really, we love you and we appreciate you listening. And next time I'll have a haircut and I'll let you see my face. And Mary's going to get all dutied up here. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have a fun time and a high time doing the... Uh, the drugs. Drugs on the deck. <laughs> love you guys. Love Cheers. You. Yeah.